In Dead Man's Mirror, Hercule Poirot faces a complex case that delves into the themes of pride, deception, and the lengths people will go to protect their secrets. The story begins with Poirot receiving a summons from the wealthy and imperious Sir Gervis Chevenix Gore, who believes someone is trying to defraud him. Despite the peculiar nature of the invitation, Poirot accepts and arrives at Chevenix Gore's estate only to find his host dead, apparently by suicide. However, Poirot quickly deduces that it is a case of murder. Sir Gervis's death is staged to look like suicide, but the circumstances are highly suspicious. A mirror is shattered by the gunshot, and Sir Gervis, known for his meticulous nature, would never have allowed such an imperfection in his carefully ordered world. This contradiction sets Poirot on a path to uncover the truth, revealing the intricate layers of deceit that shroud the Chevenix Gore family and their associates. The characters in the story each harbor their own secrets, and it is through Poirot's keen observation and understanding of human nature that the truth is slowly revealed. The dead man's mirror serves as a powerful symbol in the narrative. Mirrors in literature often symbolize self-reflection and truth, and the broken mirror in this story signifies the shattered illusions and falsehoods that characters maintain. Sir Gervis's obsession with his family's legacy and his desire for control and perfection are reflected in his interactions with those around him. His insistence on maintaining appearances and his harsh judgment of others' imperfections create a tense atmosphere that drives the plot forward. Christie masterfully constructs a web of red herrings and false leads, keeping readers guessing until the very end. Each character has a motive, and as Poirot peels back the layers of their relationships with Sir Gervis, he exposes the hidden resentments and ambitions that lurk beneath the surface. The interplay between appearance and reality is a central theme, highlighting how easily people can be deceived by what they see. Poirot's methodical approach to solving the case underscores his brilliance as a detective. He meticulously examines the physical evidence, such as the position of the gun and the trajectory of the bullet, while also considering the psychological aspects of the case. His famous, little gray cells, are put to the test as he navigates the intricacies of the Chevenix Gore family dynamics. Poirot's interrogation of the suspects is a showcase of his ability to read people, drawing out their true natures through seemingly innocuous questions and observations. The resolution of the mystery is both surprising and satisfying. Poirot uncovers the identity of the murderer, revealing that the crime was committed to protect a deeply buried secret that threatened to ruin the family's reputation. The killer's motive is rooted in a misguided sense of loyalty and the fear of social disgrace, underscoring the theme of pride and its destructive consequences. Christie's writing style in this novella is concise and effective, with every detail serving a purpose in the unfolding mystery. Her ability to create suspense and maintain a sense of intrigue throughout the narrative is evident, making Dead Man's Mirror a compelling read. The story not only entertains but also offers a commentary on the dangers of vanity and the lengths to which individuals will go to preserve their self-image. In conclusion, Dead Man's Mirror is a quintessential Hercule Poirot mystery that showcases Agatha Christie's skill in crafting intricate plots and memorable characters. The story's exploration of themes such as pride, deception, and the quest for truth resonates with readers, while Poirot's unparalleled detective skills ensure that justice is ultimately served. Through the shattered mirror, Christie reveals the fragility of human pretensions and the inevitable exposure of hidden truths.